In the heart of Bahrain, a tragedy is waiting to unfold. The Amos residential towers have been trapped in a situation eerily similar to the Grenfell Tower disaster in London, a catastrophe that claimed 72 lives on the 14th of June, 2017. The Grenfell Tower fire inquiry exposed a shocking truth. The fire spread rapidly because the building was clad in Arconic's Rainabond aluminium composite panels with a plastic core, a material the manufacturer knew to be dangerously flammable. Seven years later, justice still eludes the victims' families. Now, a chillingly similar scenario is unfolding in Bahrain. At the Amas Residential Towers, where 2,916 social housing units for Bahraini families have been built, the cladding materials are once again the focus of grave concern. RMK Industries' Alcabond aluminium composite panels, marketed as fire-rated, are being used. But the truth is far more dangerous. The reality is that no one in Bahrain, from contractors to authorities, seems to know how to verify the safety of these panels. This means that thousands of lives are at risk. Entire families may unknowingly be living in buildings clad with combustible materials. Even after raising awareness on June 27, 2024, the Ministry of Housing responded by testing the panels using inadequate methods, completely ignoring international safety standards like EN 13501-1. This was a dangerous and deliberate oversight because the Ministry of Housing Bahrain merely removed a couple of panels from the AMAS building and asked RMK Industries to provide a test report. It's like asking a thief to investigate a robbery. This presented another opportunity for RMK Industries, and they took advantage by conducting tests using the ASTME84 surface burning test, which is a much smaller scale test and not intended for assessing the fire propagation of aluminium composite panels in a facade scenario. In this test, the panels are placed horizontally, not installed vertically on a wall. Imagine the level of deceit. After this misleading testing, RMK Industries appeared to satisfy the Ministry of Housing, and shockingly, the Ministry accepted all of it without question. Asking the thief to investigate the robbery was clearly not a smart move by Mr. Rashdan from the Ministry of Housing. To provide context for new viewers, RMK Industries is the manufacturer of the aluminium composite panel under the trademark Alcabond. They have a history of deceiving clients by lowering specifications, offering the lowest prices in comparison to competitors, and manipulating raw materials. If you examine their quotations, warranty letters, and other documents, everything is written entirely in their favor. They don't even have a proper office in Bahrain, no financial stakes, and it is suspected that they may flee the country as this story continues to unfold. Also, keep in mind that Bahrain's civil defense is equally responsible. They approved cladding materials with thinner aluminium skins, 0.40 millimeters instead of the global standard of 0.50 millimeters on the top and bottom layers of the aluminium composite panels, making them even more prone to catching fire. To put it in perspective, the cladding used in the Grenfell Tower was switched for a cheaper version to save 300,000 pounds, a decision that led to the loss of 72 lives. If a fire breaks out in the Amas Towers, Bahrain could face a similar tragedy. The world witnessed the horror of Grenfell. Families screamed for help. Many jumped to their deaths. Dozens were trapped, unable to escape the rapidly spreading flames. Yet despite the lessons of Grenfell, the Bahraini authorities seem determined to repeat the same fatal mistakes. The Ministry of Housing in Bahrain continues to ignore these warnings, putting thousands of lives at risk by covering up the dangers of this flammable cladding. The time for change is now. Before it's too late, let's not wait for another tragedy.